YouTube gang, what up? This is your boy C Spade Kurt. Check it out, man. Check it out. All right, so I know you're tired of your raggedy steering wheel and your Chevrolet Silverado, GMC, whatever vehicle that you're driving. I got a raggedy steering wheel where it's just coming apart. I mean, look at that. That's just ugh. who wants to be feeling this when they're gripping the wheel. OK, I think I found an alternative, guys. Um, I've been on Amazon, you know, shopping, shopping, you know, looking up stuff. And I found this right here. All right, so this is what you call your leather do-it-yourself steering wheel cover, okay? Uh, it comes with threading of your choice. Whatever color that you may choose, you go in there, you choose your color. You just look on there and you find what you're looking for and you cop that. They give you a size chart where you can determine what's the right size. You enter your vehicle. Most of the time, it'll come up with the right information. All right, so as you can see, um, this is what it looks like right here. Real good fit. It goes right around there like so, stretch it on out, and we're going to be Gucci. Yes, yes. All right, so the first thing you want to do, guys, first thing you want to do is you want to get this old cover off because we're not putting it on top of this, okay? So what I got is I got me a razor blade, as you can see right here, and I'm going to cut this cover off, okay? What's up, young lady? How you doing? What's your name? <laughs> that's my wife but yo you're gonna take your razor blade and we're gonna cut this thing right on off we're gonna cut the threads we're gonna get this baby right on off of here okay let's keep it on let's go on right around here Just snapping all them threads. Like so. Okay, somebody doing some. What's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, guys, so as you can see, we cutting these threads on off. Ain't got time to be trying to take nothing apart. We're gonna cut them off, just like you see right there. Just like that. You see that, guys? Cut it right on off, just like so. Oh yeah. Let's keep it going on around. All right, so we're gonna probably just pop these Little inserts off as well. Uh, I'm not going to try. I'm going to try to do it without having to take that off. Let's see. As you can see, it comes right off. It goes right against the insert there. You're gonna have to tuck it in there, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let me get y'all a little closer view. Hey Shay, Cameron hungry. All right gang, so as you can see, we're slowly but surely getting it off. All right, we're gonna continue to cut this stitching off like so. Just like so. Mm. 
be careful not to cut your finger. Use caution when using the razor blade at all times. It's extremely dangerous, extremely. All right, gang, so we're still cutting the threads. All right, so as you can see here, I'm just gonna place my razor right there in that seam and just follow it right on around and pop those stitches. Like so. All right, gang, so as you can see right there, we got the stern wheel cover off. Just need to remove it, ah, like so. Voila. Ah, that's the stern wheel cover, guys. All right, now we're down to our bare wheel. And as you can see, the wheel is in great shape. Um, it was just mainly the stern wheel cover, which is pretty much the same thing that we purchased off of Amazon, just not the same thing. But let's go ahead and get this baby in place. First point. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the lace on the bottom where they recommend in the install as well. And it's not hard to do. Like easy peasy, just like that. All right, again, we're gonna start on the other side of the sewn seam and go across it. We don't wanna start on the seam so that we're pulling against it. We wanna make sure we start before it so that we can not have pressure on it. Remember, we're gonna leave six inches, at least about six inches over here, so that we can tie it. Let's keep it going. I'm gonna go around. Like so. Pull that baby on through. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, so as you can see, this is what it's looking like right here. It's looking like it's gonna be like <coughs> it's gonna be like an overlap. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna make it fold over and then I'm gonna pull it. Cause it's an overlap guys, so I don't want it to be on top of each other. I don't want it to be on top like this, so I'm gonna fold it over. The front is folded over so that it'll lay on top like so. And do it like that. <coughs> All right, so we got that there.
gosh, so much string, guys. So much string. Oh my gosh. Let me go through there. Like so. Like so. I'm gonna pull it on through like that. continue the process Hey Bixby, call wife mobile. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. All right. All right, gang. So as you can see how I'm doing it, I'm overlapping the leather cover so that it doesn't be like this like that right there. I want it to be as tight as possible, so I'm gonna overlap it. And this should make for a pretty good installation. All right, so let's continue to go about our stitching. Let's pull them tight. And now that we got a good basis for a start as far as getting our lacing tight, it should be easier to pull as we're going instead of doing what I just did. I just did that so I can get started so I can get all the, um, get enough in there to resist. Cause when I was pulling earlier, it was pulling the threading through. That's not what I wanted to do.
All right, so at this point I can can work it on through, guys. And for those of you that are concerned about the needle poking you or anything like that, it's it's not going to poke you. It's actually a, a a blunt needle, so it's pretty safe. <laughs> uh, see what I'm starting to screw up. Goodness. <laughs> Pull this back through. Now I made a knot. So we're gonna pull that out. Make sure we go over the top, guys. Stay, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. All right, so let's get this back going. Put that thread through there. Just enough to hang over so it will continue to pull it through, okay? All right, so we're gonna go over the top. Like so. Tuck it under and keep it moving. Just make sure we pull in on the own. Keeping tension on the rest as well. That through there, put in that hole. So yeah. We're still sewing, we're still sewing. Where my thread at, where my thread at? All right, so we're gonna put it through here.
and then just tighten them up as much as I can. Making sure the thread is tight as possible. I'm just doing this by pulling on each one individually up toward where I'm at now. As you can see, I was able to recover a little bit of slack out of there. Tighten it up a little more. All right, so let's see what it says in the instructions about the spokes. The lacing holes in your steering wheel cover have been matched so that there is an identical number on each side. You should use every single hole. However, if the spokes of the steering wheel are wider than two inches, you may want to skip the front and rear lacing holes at the spoke or you might want to lace only the front holes at the spoke with dummy stitches which is what i was going to do anyway okay so pretty much what it's saying to do is we're going to go instead of being that we can't go around we're going to put the lacing through the front hose just so that we can have a red stitching okay so we're going to come around here like so Like this, put that through there. Put that through like so. So I'm just going to take it around like this instead of um, wasting thread, trying to thread it through there. <coughs> like that. So one thing I don't want is to run out of threading. All right. So got that through there like so. So, I'm going to come behind the spoke and we're going to resume where we left off at. First hole I can get to is that one there. I'm going to come around here to this one, like so. <laughs> Gotta yell at him, slow down. <coughs> Guys, it's allergy season kicking in for me, man. You gotta excuse me on here, I'm sorry. That's it. This is real. All right, guys, see, this is where you can mess up here. You want your stitching to go the same way all the way around. We don't want to switch the pattern up, pattern up, so. Let's see about this. I definitely don't want to switch the pattern up, so. Let me fix this. Like 
illness. All right, gang, so what we want to do is we want to maintain our pitch, our pattern. <clears throat> so in order to do that, we want to come across from the back. So bring it over and continue on with our stitching. Next hole, keep it moving. Guys, make sure you pull all the slack out the lines as you go. You don't want to waste that. It's going to be critical when you start getting to the end. You're going to be like, oh my God, I'm running low. So be cautious of that.
All right, gang, as you see, we're making our way around, getting around here. They downshifting the stuff in front of the house, man. Tell them they can't be flexing on a C63 like that. I'm, don't make me go circle the block. I pull it out and go circle the block on the end. You know what I'm saying? Tell them don't play. Don't play. Ah, that sun ain't no joke, man. <clears throat> All right, gang, we got this one right here. I'm hoping I can get it through the back to another one. Oh, no. I broke my thread and freaking A. Freaking heavy fingers, man. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, gang, I gotta get another needle. I'll be back. Hey, right, gang, check it out, man. Check it out. All right, so you know I broke the needle. I broke the freaking needle. But guess what, guys? I got another one. I had to run to Walmart and just had to grab one of these right here. This one is, it's a tapestry needle. All right, so you would need a tapestry needle if you just so happen to break it from being overly aggressive in the handling of the process. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, so with that being said, let's continue on doing what we were doing. All right, so my goal is to get one more thread through this thing here. Try to get another one, another turn in here. That's what I want to do. And see if I can accomplish that. I ain't gonna lie, I got it pretty good and tight. What I'm gonna have to do to accomplish that is pull it through, then come in at an angle and get the other hole instead of just trying to go straight from one hole to the next. Yeah, see? Easy peasy. That's what I should have did yesterday, guys. But no, I was trying to go in both holes at the same time. All right, so at this point, I'm just pulling it through like so. And I'm going to pull on here just to get some tightness on the previous one before pulling all the way on it like so. 
voila all right gang so i'm back here so what i want to do now is come across the back and come through the front first so that i can try to maintain that pattern that i currently have going already like so i'm gonna pull it over just a little bit so that i can get some tuck underneath this um this piece here because you know you want it to tuck so it look nice and professional looking you want to tuck as much as possible <clears throat> it's not going to tuck all the way because the fabric is cut even but i mean a little tuck is better than none okay so i got a little tuck right there it's going to tuck under there and then i'm gonna come around here and i'm gonna pick up where i left off okay so on the back side i'm gonna come around the front come close as possible so as you can see, I'm skipping one, two. Over here, I skipped two. So one, two. Over here, I'm going to try to get it so that I'm only skipping two as well. So I'm gonna come across here and go up in here. Come through there. Booyah, like so. I'm going to pull that baby through. Lay the needle down. A million all hundreds I shut down the bank What up, gang? It's your boy C Spec Kurt. Check it out, man. I was recording the steering wheel pro. I was re stay still, camera. I was recording the steering wheel process for you guys, man. I'm telling you, I just knew I was recording during the times that I wasn't recording. But I'm gonna come to you with this this ending footage right here, just so you can see <clears throat> what did take place with this process. All right, so check it out. All right, so as you can see that's the final product of it right there and what i did to make sure it was nice and tight is I had to kind of overlap it a little bit you put the thread well you saw the way i was doing it this is just the final product but you definitely want to make sure you kind of position it where it overlaps the other piece if it's at a diameter where it seemed like it could be loose and as i completed the process you can see where I did a couple straight stitches where I came across I went under and instead of coming right back across here I came out and went right back into this one over here I came across and I would instead of going in and out and go to the next one I came in I went across I double back and I would do that so that I could secure the thread from loosening up and that helps out a lot and then when I got here to the end <clears throat> the piece that I had from the start that you saw hanging here I, I did a knot with the piece that was on the needle thread I had a nice nice amount left over so it, you get plenty of threading to do the job all right, so this kit is made by Bellinois. I got it off of Amazon.com. Let's see, Bellinois leather. The size is V4, black and red. As you can see, X002, G, O, L, L, or I, I, P3. All right, Belenois leather, and 
And you see right there, you always do it yourself steering wheel cover. The size is V4, and I have a 2008 Chevrolet Silverado, so. This should be all the information you need right there, guys. Um, not sure if I caught it in my video, but I did break the needle when I was threading, so I had to go to Walmart and buy some more. They're tapestry needles. If you happen to break your needle head because you're trying to bend and stuff like that, um, you can buy more at Walmart. And when you get to a position where it's hard to get it from one side to the other, just open the gap up, get it all the way through this side first, pull it through, then go back in to get it on the other side. That's how I broke my needle. I was trying to come in through one side and go out to the other. Just get it in, pull it all the way out, then go back in, targeting the, the other side. You don't have to do it all in one shot. So, but it was an easy process. Um, as you can see at the spokes, I skipped two holes on each spoke. I wanted to keep it uniform. And you could possibly avoid the holes showing period if you just position the um, leather where more go up under here, but definitely make sure you position the leather enough so that you can tuck some up under here so you don't have the leather hanging out at the spokes. And you see I got some tuck at every single spoke. So, yeah, man. But anyway, this is your boy C-Spec Kurt. Whole new look going on right here. I'm proud of it, man. And I hope you enjoyed the video. But anyway, please like, share, sub to the channel, man. I'm trying to do some things here, man. Follow your boy. In the meantime, I have to be a body here, though. I got to run to the stove. and need to take some things back to Best Buy. Got to make it happen, man. Yo, I'm out of here, man. Peace. In case you missed that C10, there it go. It's right there, man. It's right there, man. Here she go. Oh yeah.